Hey, what's up guys? Andrew here. Today we're taking a look at the brand new Lenovo Legion Y520. This is the latest laptop from Lenovo that features a NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti and the latest KB Lake processors. This is Lenovo's response to the Acer VX15 and Dell Inspiron 7567. This model also has 8GB of RAM and a 1TB hard drive running at 5400 RPM. And the retail price of this unit is 919 bucks. This laptop is mainly made out of plastic and the top section has this checkered stripe finish that looks pretty good. And here goes the side view of the laptop. The laptop comes in about an inch thick and the weight comes in at 5.3 pounds. Here's a quick view of the bottom panel. You got your two rubber feet on the bottom, one on the top, and your intake vent. The interior is also made out of plastic, however the palm rest kind of has like the soft touch coating that adds a real nice feel. Lenovo does try to make the Wi-Fi 520 stand out with this plastic strip here. They're trying to make it look like a brush aluminum finish, but it isn't. The build quality on the Wi-Fi 20 is surprisingly pretty good. There's hardly any keyboard flex, and the display flex is about average among other gaming laptops in this range. And let's take a look at the exterior flex. Again, Lenovo did a pretty solid job overall with the Wi-Fi 520. Let's take a look at the internal components. Here you got your battery pack towards the bottom. M.2 SSD slot here towards the left. 8GB of RAM. This system supports up to 32 gigs, two fans, and your traditional hard drive. Now here's your warning, the base model with the 1TB hard drive is painfully slow. Make sure you upgrade to an SSD for the best performance. Here's a better view of the RAM slots. Again, this system only has one 8GB stick right now, so there's one empty slot. On the left, you got your security lock slot, charging port, RJ45 Ethernet, USB 2, and your headset port. On the right, you got a USB Type-C, which is going to come in handy for your peripherals in the future, an SD card reader, two USB 3s, and a full-size HDMI. This trackpad feels pretty solid. It's not using the Windows Precision drivers, however it's using the Elon drivers. There's also two physical buttons on the bottom, and the button itself is not a push down button, so the only option you have is tap to click. This laptop features a standard full size keyboard with a 10 key numeric keypad. You also have some dedicated function keys towards the top which also controls your volume and more. But the downside here is the 10 key numeric keypad. They've shifted the number lock key towards the bottom and removed the enter key, which makes it very weird. I would often have a lot of missed punches here because of the new number key layout. However, besides that, this keyboard is very comfortable to type on and the key travel is adequate. And yes, you do get a backlit keyboard, it's highlighted in red, and thankfully Lenovo does hook you up with multiple brightness settings, you got low and high. This laptop's rocking a 15 inch Full HD IPS panel that has some decent color accuracy compared to the Dell Inspiron 7567. The sRGB coverage came in at 67% and the Adobe RGB came in at 50%. The brightness levels were about average coming at 205 nits. It's about average among most budget gaming laptops in this price range. This is an IPS panel, so you're gonna get pretty good viewing angles overall. Let me show you a sample here from the side, and let me tilt it back. Overall, this display is pretty solid given its price range, especially at a retail price of 919 bucks. It's definitely passable. The nice thing about this laptop is the NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti with 4GB of GDDR5. With this GPU, you can expect to play many of today's high-end games on high settings at 1920 by 1080p. Here's a quick sample of Overwatch running again at 1920 by 1080p on epic settings. So far, I'm getting an average around 55 to 65 frames per second, which is pretty solid. Next up is Battlefield 1 at 1080p on ultra settings. You can expect an average around 50 to 60 frames per second. For the best performance, step down to high settings and you'll get a much better experience. Even after an hour of extreme gaming, the exterior temperatures of the Wi-Fi 20 remain very cool. I was definitely impressed. Here you can see the temperatures hovering around 44 to 45 degrees Celsius, which is very good. And better yet, I was even more impressed with the external fan noise after using a 3D benchmark program for around 30 minutes. The average fan noise levels were around 45 to 48 decibels. Next up, you also have the Lenovo NervousSense control panel. Here you have access to the extreme cooling, network priority, and sound management. The Legion Wi-Fi 20 does feature a small battery pack. It comes in at 3 cells and 45 watt hours. You can expect an average around 3 to 3.5 three hours, and that's with medium screen brightness. Now if you plan on gaming on a battery pack, expect about an hour. Hey, what's up guys? Andrew here, testing out the webcam on the Lenovo Legion Wi-Fi 20. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. The two top facing speakers powered by Harman Audio do a decent job of powering this laptop. However, the low ends are very lacking, especially with that missing subwoofer. But for under $1,000, you get a very capable gaming laptop, and some corners have to be cut, so this will do. Alright, so let's get to the conclusion of the new Lenovo Y520. This laptop is my favorite thus far in terms of budget gaming laptops under $1,000. You get a good IPS panel that has a decent color gamut for the price you're paying, and the viewing angles are great. The design looks good, and the GTX 1050 Ti helps you play almost all of your latest hits on high settings at 1080p. You also have very easy access to upgrade your components. The only minor cons I have is the absence of Windows Precision drivers, the new 10 key number layout, 
and the lack of a subwoofer. At the end of the day, I highly recommend this laptop at its $919 price point. And better yet, Lenovo is currently running a sale for $849. Bucks. That's a great bang for your buck right there. I'll keep you guys updated on pricing. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to smack on that like button and don't forget to sub. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.